Hello Shopify merchants, I am hungry, but I'm hungry for sales. And what better way to bring those sales than with an abandoned cart workflow automation. So let's get into it and see what it's all about. So if you're a Shopify merchant, you're going to appreciate this. So we have a bunch of pre-built automations already based on the type or goal or channel, whatever works for you. But in this video specifically, we're going to focus on the abandoned cart. So let's get into it and see what it's all about. Now, when we hop into this section, it's gonna be confusing maybe, but don't worry, it's all just set up and ready to go as is, but if you want to, you can adjust it to your liking. So let me explain what you're seeing here. So customers enter this workflow when they add an item to your cart, and customers exit this workflow specifically when they place an order or start their checkout. Now there's also trigger filters over here, which mentions start the workflow after added product to cart wasn't updated for one hour. So basically that means that there were no more added products to the cart, there were no more updates to the cart. That means one hour after this, something is going to happen. And I'm gonna show you exactly what is going to happen. So first of all, after one hour, you are going to send an email automatically. This is a automatic workflow. And this is what it's going to look like. So there you can change the subject line here. You can change the pre-header, sender's name, everything else. And you can also edit the content. If you want to check it out, you're welcome to. So this is what it's going to look like. What happened? We noticed some left, you left some items in the cart. And you can also add a bunch of elements additionally if you want to or adjust it to you to fit your liking. But for now, let's just keep it as is. So you know, let me finish editing and we're taken back to the automation screen. So after one hour, we're sending an email. So what happens then is we wait for 11 hours. Now in this workflow, it is 11 hours, but you can change it, easily change it to 10 to 12 hours. And you're going to send another email saying your cart misses you. And you can also edit the content if you want to, but we're not gonna do it in this one. So we wait for another 12 hours, which is basically like 24 hours. In 24 hours, we have sent free emails automatically without any hassle. And you can edit everything specifically to fit your brand or your brand style. So let's jump into the last email as well. Let's see the content that we are working with here. And in this one, we are going to make the last effort to make the customer complete their purchase. We're going to offer them 15% off. You can adjust it anytime you like. And since I'm using Shopify or WooCommerce store, we're going to generate the discount code automatically. Otherwise you would need to fill it out manually yourself. But in my case, I don't really need to. And here you can see the product images over here, product images, product name, product descriptions. Now this information is going to be filled in automatically. And this is going to pull the items from customer's cart automatically and paste it over here. So it's not gonna look like this big mess of just a bunch of products. So let's finish the editing and let's see what, what else we have here. And the last step is the exit condition. So if the customer reaches this final email, this is it. It exits the workflow and is no longer like pushed to complete the purchase. Otherwise, still remember that the customer can exit this workflow, like for example, first email is sent and they place an order after this one, they're not gonna be bombarded with these messages later on, your card misses you, don't miss your, he's already completed a purchase, he doesn't need to hear about this. So this is it, this is the basics of an abandoned card workflow. Now, after the automation is enabled, you can also see the stats, so to see where the customers are stuck at, what, what works, what doesn't, and everything else that might be interesting. All right, and it is as easy as that. If you are a Shopify merchant, you're going to appreciate these workflows, and if you want, you can enable more. You just go through all these steps yourself, but for now, we're just focused on the abandoned cart. Consider your hunger relieved. See you in the next one.